So I have learned that I suck at bending metal. Um, <clears throat> this is a... Uh, Aluminum is tricky to bend. You kind of have to, it feels like you kind of have to bend it slightly past the point you want to bend and then it kind of, it releases back, like it relaxes back. So you have to get past that, that, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. There's like some tensile strength point and you get it past that and it will bend from there and then it relaxes back. But if you go too far, you'll mess it up, you know, so you gotta, you gotta be careful. Um, in the kit right here, so on this page, this is a 31Q4. 31Q4. I don't know why it's Q, but whatever. Let's look at that. This is a uh, part of the the forward uh, subpanel stuff, the subpanel assembly. And one of the things you have to do is you have to kind of give a little a little tiny bend to the bottom part. Um, again, this is you know this will sit here and and this one's here and there's you know panel in between, but this is behind the main panel. And you just have to give it this little tiny bend. And I found that the best way to do it is to put it in my vise and just kind of kind of apply a little bit of a bend. Not much, like you're not trying to bend it, you're just kind of applying a little bit of a curve. And then just tap it. Tap it with, you know, your rubber mallet and light taps. I mean, nothing hard. You're not, you're not whacking it. And that's enough to cause the bend to stick. Um, you can kind of see the bend a little bit and I don't know if you can kind of see if that I don't know if that's going to come out but it's just ever so slight bend and that works so now I'm going to do this one and then try to find a part so the 1083Q which is the quadrant mount bracket I can't find it so uh, that's and that's unusual. I mean, normally I eventually find things, but right now I cannot find it at all. I was able to find the back side of it, which is this one. This is the the one zero eight three zero eight three. This goes, you know, like this on, on that part, and then there's another piece that goes right here that's basically a mirror of these holes. I don't have it. I mean, I'm running out of parts as I slowly use them up. So for whatever reason though, I can't find it. So I may have to either call them to make sure I'm supposed to have it, check that I actually checked it off, because if I checked it off, uh, presumably I have it, but I may have to order it, which sucks. Wouldn't be the first time that I did something stupid like check something off that I didn't have, but I'm just, it's, it's aggravating because it's one of those things where it's like, okay, I know that's here somewhere. But I don't think it is. <laughs> I've gone through everything multiple times at this point. I mean, I was torn stuff up, uh, throwing stuff around, trying to find it. And I couldn't, I couldn't find it. <sighs> it's always something. Uh, the last video, you guys were super responsive about the real-time footage. Um, I think a lot of y'all really liked what was going on there. And I am more than happy to show you that. Uh, in a way, that's almost easier because I, uh, I can just show you whatever I film. I'm thinking about doing two styles, both the, you know, the quick video and the real-time video, and just put them both out there for, you know, for y'all to watch, and you can watch whichever one you want. What do y'all think about that? Would y'all comment down below? Is that something you'd be interested in? I mean, in a way, though, it would be kind of doing double the work. So I, I don't know if that's something you guys are interested in. More than happy to provide it. If you're not interested in or if you want to see one versus the other, cool. Yeah. Uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm, instead of measuring out the line, I'm just going to clico these together and then continue the line. Uh, I'm cheating. <laughs> uh, cheating. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. So that that's what it would look like if it was a really short panel. That's your glider. That's your glider panel. So now let me draw this on here. Put this flat. Right. So I had someone ask me the other day, what is my number one 
rule for building? Like if there was a rule that you had to pass on, what is it? Um, it's a good question. I think it would have to be... I was going to say don't give up. Um, don't give up is the first rule. But that's an unfair rule. And the reason I say that's an unfair rule is because there are people that are going to give up for good reasons. You know, for whatever reason, their life situation changes or whatever. I mean, there's going to be times at which someone has to stop doing the deed because life, right? Uh, so that's not it. That's not the rule. What is the rule? Hmm. What I'm doing now is I'm just lining this up on this line that I have drawn so that I can then do my tapping. Okay, I got a rule. Um, I'm a huge, okay, so this is what I was talking about. I'm just giving it a slight bend and then tap, 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 tap. That's it. And then let's move this down just a skosh. Um, I've got a rule. Um, so I'm a big hiker. I like to hike. I like going on the Apple. I live right near the Appalachian Trail. Tap, 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 tap. This probably sounds like I'm hitting this a lot harder than I am. I am. I mean, that's it. Uh, oh, I got to do the other. Uh, so the rule, I think, is something that I take from my hiking. Uh, and that is when you go on the Appalachian Trail... One of the things people say all the time is, hike your own hike. Now, some of you may not understand what that means. Let's see how we did. There you go. Ever so slight bend. Not much. Maybe a little more in the middle. Um, hike your own hike. Don't try to hike somebody else's hike. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Because there are people that are healthier than you. There are people that will just be in better shape. And, you know, you know, there are people that can hike the trail in, what was the last record? Somebody did it in, like, 45 days. Like, a, it's 2,000-some-odd miles. And they, they did, like, 60 or 70 miles a day. It's like, what are you made of? Um, I can't do that. But, and, and that's the point. I can't do that. So why would I try? Hike your own hike. Go at your speed. I have to think that with an airplane, something that, you know, for you might take you a year to build. For me, so far, I'm on year five. Um, you have to go at your own speed. That, I think, is probably the number one rule. Go at your speed. Don't try to go at somebody else's speed. Don't try to keep up. There are many people out there that have bought kits, used my reference number, and their planes farther along. Some of them are probably flying. Um, by the way, if you use my reference number and your plane is flying, please comment down below. I'd love to, I'd love to pick your brain. Um, <clears throat> well, I can't keep up with them. I mean, life just wouldn't let me. Th things are rapidly approaching a point in my life where I can speed back up, but uh, yeah, you know, sometimes you get in a dark place and you can't, you can't keep going. So I think, I think, I think you have to do your build in your time. That's probably my number one rule is build at your pace. I don't know. What's your rule? Everyone's going to have a, you know, rule in life. One of my other rules is, uh, no celery and, uh, what else do I don't, do I not like? No celery. I love food. Um, Oh, cucumber. No cucumber. Those are my other two rules. <laughs> I don't like cucumber. But uh, what are your rules? You know, comment down below. I'd love to know what you guys think. Uh, another good rule would be to put stuff where you can find it. Mm. <sighs>
is because this is a quick build part. Because there's section 31Q, upper forward fuselage assembly, assembly, and then there's section 31, upper forward fuselage assembly. I'm guessing these are the quick build version, and that this is what I should be building. And I was looking through here, I mean, it's actually all identical so far, except there is no 1083Q in this version. There's only the 1083. And other than that, these plans look the same. So, or no, they're not. They stop right here. Okay. Yeah, see, they're different for quick build or not quick build. But that's just it. That's the one piece that's different. Huh. Okay. All right. I think I have figured the problem out. And as always, the problem was me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think I was trying to do... Uh, a part of the plans that I don't have to do. I do the next section. So that's what we're going to do. So I was doing 31Q. I should be doing 31. Um, if you guys know that I'm wrong about this, let me know. But I'm fairly certain now after going through this that this was the quick build. Now, I don't actually see where it says Q is the quick build. That's what you should be doing. But it makes sense. Um, it seems kind of logical. And I didn't notice that this 31 had repeated. I just thought it was a really long section. I missed, I missed this front page. Uh, even though some of these subsequent pages, you can look at it and go, hey, it looks like something I've already done. You never know. I mean, they could just be reusing the same graphic to explain some other piece. So I just hadn't put that together yet. So now I'm going to go through section 31 and start marking off stuff that I've already done, get myself caught up, and then continue assembling that sucker. There's a lot of people coming out to fly because it's a beautiful day today. I wish I had a plane. <sighs> okay, do it. All right, update on the Great Crow's Foot debacle. So, as you all know, now I have gone through and I went and bought a crow's foot and I got the wrong kind of crow's foot initially. I had no idea there was a different type. Uh, so, I got a second set of crow's feet. Here's the normal 3 8 crow's foot that I need. And so, I've been going through and I put the nut in. Crow's foot works great. The one thing I had to do, though, was to get the, the, the bolt started in the hole. I had to take it over to my grinder and kind of grind down the tip just a little bit so it'll sit in there. And I also added a slight groove right here across the top. And when I say slight, I mean, there's no like date and no material missing. It's just enough to give purchase to my very thin screwdriver. So when I push down, it starts the bite and I cannot screw it in with this. There's just no, there's no purchase. So I push it down just enough to get it to bite, turn it just a little bit. And then I go to the crow's foot. That's how I solved this problem. Works just fine. I've got both of them in. Well, one of them in, about to put the other one in. And by the time you watch this, I've got both of them in. It works great. Um, I'm not worried about this nut, like that I've ruined it or anything because honest or bolt rather, because there's so many bolts holding that in. This one bolt is not going to be the failure point. Uh, I'm not, I'm just not concerned about it. Uh, so yeah. Make sure you get the right crow's foot. You're definitely going to need the right one to get in there. It is an awkward position. Uh, so far, that was a bad design van, sorry. Uh, but other than that, we're good to go. So let's get on to it. All righty. So insert this angle spacer through here. And yeah, so this is where we're going to see if this, if this bend was correct. So let's go do that. It's going to go, oh, is that click on the light? No. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's, it's perfect. Holy crap. That's, oh, and there's already a hole. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, we're going to drill through here to match this up. So this will be click code. Or, or riveted down rather. And I imagine we're gonna drill holes all through here. Oh, there already are holes. 
So yeah. <laughs> and we had a whole yeah, we had a whole here. Does that one line up too? Almost. Oh, look at that. So Although honestly, it probably should be down just a little bit because if it's up where that hole is, if it's up here, you're going to have something stick up right there. So I'll have to like trim this bit off if I use that hole. If I slide it down a bit and recut that hole, it'll be better. I still will probably nick this off right here just so that when I have the skin laying over this, it doesn't rub. It probably won't, but I'll probably just take a little bit off right there. So yeah, that's where that goes. So I get emails all the time from people saying they're they're just about getting ready to start, but they're they're just waiting for a little bit longer because of reasons. And if I had one piece of advice, don't wait. Um, this is something that you can wait forever. You can always dig up some reason why now's not the right time. Eh, I mean, never, it's never the right time, right? I mean, you're going to, no matter how you swing it, you're going to be spending some money. And I understand that spending money is not always appreciated by, say, she who makes decisions. But at the same time, you're never going to get, oh, I got a countersink face. You're never going to get, um, a perfect time. I have to countersink these. I don't know what I was thinking because these are four, uh, 426s, um, which means are these going to be countersunk or dumbled? I assume they're countersunk. Do, 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 do. Final drill number. Dimple. Uh, we're dimpling. Really? Deeper. Dimple the nut plate attach holes. We're dimpling this? This is thick metal for dimpling. Okay, let me get my dimple set. Sometimes you dimple, sometimes you deeper, or sometimes you uh, countersink. I'm surprised they're having me dimple this. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Deeper the holes and the edge. Yeah, I need to do this too. But dimple the nut plate attach holes. See figure two. Ding. And if we're dimpling the nut plate attach holes, we're also dimpling the nut plates. Really? We're dimpling this? All right. Hmm. I will try... Yeah, the thickness is right. I'll dimple one just to see. But I am thinking that that is not correct. Anyways, it's never the right time. You know what I mean? You'll always come up with a reason why, you know, oh, life, things, stuff, you know, will get in the way. And you'll find an excuse as to why now is not the time to do this thing. And it's like... It'll never be the right time. You, you might as well... I mean, at some point, you have to just pull the trigger. Um, and I would say sooner than later because of just how long it takes. All right, let's see. Let's see if this comes out good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it dimpled nicely. Um, oh, yeah, perfect. Jeez. I, yeah, waiting's not a good idea. Honestly, if you know this is something you want to do, do it. Because, like I said, you'll come up with a, a just a myriad of reasons why the timing isn't right, the money isn't right, whatever. If you really want to do this, you can make it happen. And that's, that's really my core advice there. Um, it's a good hobby. And 
you know, in today's trying times when you're dealing with jerks, sometimes it's nice to come out to the airplane and throw some rivets and dimple some stuff and talk to you fine people and not have to deal with jerks. Um, it's just... This is my... Uh, my zen. This is my relaxation time. I come out here to be left the hell alone. I'm getting crotchety in my old age. I'm not for bombing buildings, but I do appreciate the the Ted Kaczynski style out in the woods <laughs> living by yourself. Don't bomb buildings. That's not good. But, you know, go and hide and, and just be happy and, and don't have to suffer under morons. Uh, that, that appeals. Uh, ow, ow, ow. All right, let's see. Right about there. So, yeah, I would say start, though. Start sooner than later. Because, ultimately, you'll always be able to come up with an excuse as to why it's not time. I know I did. I did for a long time. And just, that's time you could be building. Time better spent. Woo! All right. Perfect. Perfect. Someone asked, other than hiking, because I had mentioned that in the last video, what else do I do for fun when I'm not building? And uh, I'm an avid game player. Love games. Play a lot of games. Uh... Right now, I'm playing Star Citizen, which I don't know if you guys even know what that is. <laughs> kind of an interesting game. I know X-Wing, there's a, there's a new game called X-Wing Squadrons or something like that, or it's uh, Star, uh, Star Wars Squadrons or something like that, but it's basically X-Wings versus TIE Fighter, you know, RIT 2020. And uh, I think it just came out. I might check it out. That just harkens back to games I played as a kid. But it's funny. It's, it's like I'm not real social sometimes. I want to be antisocial, and then I get online and play online games. Eh. I'm weird. What can I say? Okay. So we're going to do the other two of these. And then we're going to drill pilot holes and do other stuff so we're getting there so we're getting to the point where this sub assembly this forward sub assembly is assembled and looks good um and then i think the very next section is the section we've all been waiting for let's see so yeah once we get all this we're going to build this bar and this and then we're going to put the skin on so that's coming although i don't know if we actually rivet it on or if we're just putting it temporary we'll see but then Dun dun dun! If y'all can see that tail cone attachment. So we're literally three pages from tail cone attachment. So good times. That is coming very very soon. Can't wait. Cannot wait. I did talk to some people about uh, wiring, by the way. We had talked uh, a couple times previously about how I'm not real comfortable with the whole electronics and electric stuff. Uh, and the majority of you that have responded have said, don't worry about it, you'll be fine. Um, and it seems like most people agree with the wires that I was using, that I was running, not quite up to par. I didn't need much more in the, in the, in the uh, form of wires but those were just a little small so i will have some new wire on the way um i don't know if i'm gonna buy shielded wire for everything like i don't know if i need to probably should i mean it doesn't hurt anything and i imagine if you go shielded versus unshielded over the whole plane you're not adding but maybe a pound of weight i mean i can't imagine it's a huge issue from a weight standpoint just it's just an expense issue i don't i, I have to assume shielded wire is a little more expensive but better that than deal with weird noises and you know, str 
stro- strobe light noises on your radio or whatever. So I probably will do that here soon. Get some wire inbound. So I mean, that's really what I'm waiting for on the wings is is the wire. I just got to get the wire, and then uh, get that wings buttoned up. All right. So yeah. All right. I'm gonna go clean these holes up, and then. We're going to mark this off and move on to the next thing. I did that, and I did that. One more step on this page, and then we're one step closer to putting the tail on the plane. <laughs> you know I got to do it. I'll try to keep it quick. If you guys like what I'm doing on this channel, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button down there. It really helps with my rankings. If you'd comment down below with one of the things I've been asking you to talk about, that also helps my rankings. If you really like what I'm doing, you can jump over to my Patreon page for as little as a dollar a month. You too can help support me by buying me a cup of coffee over the internet. I really appreciate you guys. And finally, if you want to build your own plane, and Vans just released the dummy page for the RV15 or the RV Next or whatever they come up with, can't wait to see what it is. When you order your RV kit, if you use my builder number, which is down in the comments below, Vans will send me a hundred bucks. It's no money out of your pocket. Thanks so much, guys. All right, let's get back to it. So I have been working on the dash. This is this is the dash. Will actually be this way. I inadvertently got okay. Be careful. So this piece of metal that is your the dash that comes with. Um, it looks like it's, you could use it either, either way. Wrong, false. It, there is definitely a front and a back, okay? And it's based on this middle screw. This middle screw is slightly offset from center. It's slightly offset to the right. Uh, the farther right the center screw is, that's your front, back. The reason for that is how it sits in the plane. And so what I ended up doing is I put everything on backwards. Damn it. And then got up there and I'm like, oh. So just be careful with that. This is, uh, there is a definite front and back. I've got, I'm unscrewing everything now. Thankfully, I, you know, it doesn't hurt anything. If you just screw everything in the wrong side, you just have to unscrew it. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm gonna continue going forward and I am gonna use this for now uh, while I determine which dash I actually wanna use. Um, I really like the look of this one. You can see that it's, it's off um, it's off center. It's, it's got, it's got the, the, you know, the left side is for the primary pilot with that curved panel for the radios and whatnot. And the right side is just kind of a small area where you can put a glove box or something like that. I actually like that idea. Now, a lot of you mentioned that I shouldn't go with something like that. You want something that's uniform so that you can have a left and right seat with the same view. I don't actually care about that. And the reason I don't care about that is I never plan to CFI in this plane. Okay, maybe at some point I'll want to instruct, but I'm not doing it in this aircraft. I, I, there's no way. I've, I have flown many aircraft that have had students in it and they've just been beat to hell. This plane is not gonna be that. This is gonna be my personal aircraft that I'm gonna fly. So I know my wife well enough to know that she's really not gonna have an interest in the instrumentation. She doesn't care. She wants to be a passenger. She doesn't want to be a pilot. So I think I'm kind of leaning towards that particular design and having everything on that side. And then I kind of want to, uh, the armrest with the thwatt, uh, throttle, throttle quadrant uh, style um, stuff. So I'd love to see what's your feedback. What do you think about that? Uh, comment down below. Tell me if you think that's a good idea or a bad idea. I mean, again, everyone is going to be a little bit different in what you want, but I'm kind of leaning towards that. Um, I don't know. What are your thoughts? All right, things are getting serious, y'all. I'm about to put the, the skin on top for the first time. But I noticed that there's this slit right here and it's off center. So I want I don't wanna make the same mistake I just freaking made. I wanna make sure that we know which side or what, you know, which side of this is the top and bottom. Um, okay, this is the top. So this little slit goes this way. What is that slit for? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay, so this is the top. 
Uh, all right, so let's go test fit this guy on there. I guess I should probably pull the bluing off, huh? All right, I'm gonna pull the bluing off, then I'm gonna put this thing on there, and we're gonna start cliquing it down, and, oh, we're not far from airplane noises, guys. We're not far at all. All right. Okay, so now, this is gonna go here somehow. Line that up, and we're supposed to put in Clecos all across this sucker. Do I not? Do I not have to do any bending? Does do you just let it do its thing? I guess I don't know. A lot of times, they want you to do a little bit of bending. Now I've not touched this. Uh, touch this. Oops skin at all, so it's really rough. Other than to pull the bluing off, which needed to happen. But now, we're gonna start putting sucker in. And then it's gonna be a lot of match drilling. You can see that already. And in there, you jerk. There it goes. All right. One. And now, one in down here, just for good measure. There we go. Now it's not going to fall off. Sweet. All right. So I'm going to sit here and put Clecos in everywhere and get this thing all hardened down and you know in this position and then like I said I think the next step to me seems like it's going to be going through and match drilling you know drilling everything um, but yeah so let me do that right quick and I think I'm gonna open the hanger too because it's getting warm in here all right let's do this all right, guys. Well, while I continue working in the background, opening up the hangar to that beautiful day, it's been beautiful for the last week. I'm going to cut it right here. This video got a little long on me. Uh, there's a lot more to come. I have all the work that you're seeing me do yet to finish in video. And then the next part is putting the tail cone on that. That's coming. That's coming here soon. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate everybody. If you have any comments or suggestions, please comment down below. Believe it or not, that engagement really helps me and I enjoy answering questions when I can. Thank y'all a bunch. I'll see you next time.